Hey everybody, this is Joe, back with this time QTP Tank as Hillbrand. Make sure you turn on your special action key so you will get Tank. Here we go. First off, of course you just CC your pylons. Watch the electric shark as it goes around the ring. Try not to get hit. If you do, it's a little bit of bone or weakness and I think bleeding. Um, whenever you first set up to do the tanking, you can use these little X's that you see right behind me as a guide, so to speak. Um, if you stand on those two X's, then the road will go between the where they catch the ball and the pylon, as you see there on the other side. Uh, and then if you if you swap between these two locations, then it's basically allowing the pylon people to stand at the left, um, that's assuming they're catching the ball left or clockwise. Um, of course, if, you, if your group was doing it the other side, then you would adjust accordingly. At 80%, take your fires to your drop point. There's a lot of different strats for fires, but um, the goal behind it is to have the A-noms later on walk through them so when you so when someone sees them the fire will burn them up the auto attacks on I mean the attack pattern on Kadeem is basically three machine guns and then a road uh, the road you just simply get out of when you see the yellow uh, one thing one thing you might note is that um, you'll see here in a bit whenever the next road pops up and then the first road disappears. Do not immediately go there. You'll see it flash here in a second, like it's disappeared, and then it flashes, and then it's safe to go. So always wait for that second flash, because it's still there. Uh, it's just a visual, a visual bug at the moment. When you go to place your fires, don't worry about too much about dropping them on a line, or the carpet, per se. Right, just quickly dodge out of it if needed. Once you see your pylon, and then go back to boss. Um, for utilities, you could bring stand your ground instead of a uh, bow of truth, but or really anything you want there instead of bow of truth. But you don't really need stability on normal mode. Um, you can if you think you need a safety net, but. Uh, it's only really important on uh, CM, in my opinion. Also, the pink star above your head will let you know that you're a tank. Uh, if you ever see that a different player has it, they'll be getting the machine guns, and then they need to go outside of this uh, bigger circle, so then uh, the tank will revert back to you. It's basically whoever is the closest with their special action key on. Uh, it usually isn't an issue until the until after he started um, taking over these pylons. On this part here, watch the knockbacks. You can pick up the tank wherever you like. I just like to start out over here on this side so he's already facing me um, but in in both of these phases he's doing the arrow at the same time so it didn't really matter I could have started down there by the group or wherever I always try to keep a um, mantra of lore ready for whenever he does the uh, little machine gun attack Every one of those balls will give you uh, vulnerability to try to cleanse those off before they stack up super, super high. Uh, after the pylons start getting destroyed, you'll see that the 
the X's are no longer really a concern um, as there's no more balls left to catch so just as long as you're pointing it away from the group then you're good just allow yourself plenty of room to move around the carpets and whatnot watch for 30 percent whenever he takes uh, southwest pylon and 30 percent or 20 percent when he takes southeast here you can start in the middle but if you do be ready for the knockback either with stab or a good dodge you do not want to get blown back in the fire they will eat you up even on tank or even with high even with high toughness Try to go away from the arrow if they kind of crowd you in, and just in case they get hit, and then move back into position afterwards. Everything is basically in, in threes on this fight, whether it be the arrow, or his little auto attack deal there, or the lightning. Uh, there's a lightning there, so you'll see small, medium, and then large. Everything's in sets of threes, for the most part. Here's the arrow mechanic. You can see that you you can jump or dodge them. I missed the first one there, but then you can dodge them towards the hitbox. You also can go through them, as you saw. Kind of, you can use them as like a, a wall, basically. And that's it. Thank you, everybody. Catch you next time.